choose your music carefully. Now, this sort of advice of choosing your inputs carefully from Luke Belmont, I think this includes for music as well. Because recently, having listened to music, particularly like piano, um, orchestra, or orchestral and chamber music, upbeat music rather than the traditional, not traditional, I think most people these days listen to like rap, hard rap about these concerts, about gang violence, um, drive-bys, sex, drugs, like all, like cash, greed, like all these negative concepts. If you listen to these songs over and over again, it does something to you subconsciously. So you have to be very careful with the music that you choose. And I'm going to bring up a story about choosing your music carefully. Back in great, back in my time in grade eight, particularly when I was going through <laughs> rejection from this one particular girl from my cohort. And I don't tend to like telling this story because again, it brings up cringe memories and I, <laughs> not, it's sort of like in hindsight, like it was a stupid mistake when I got rejected. I would listen to this one song like over and over again and like when the when the whole house was dark without any light it was by Coldplay it was called All I Can Think About Is You and it just confirmed my bias of oh, if I can remember like I can listen to the song now but it would just evoke I can listen to the song now unbiasedly like it doesn't give me in a sad mood like I can enjoy it for what it is but back then when I was going through my rejection it was quite negative. It was quite obsessive. Like these things, like these negative traits shouldn't have happened. Probably if I listened to happy music, listened to upbeat music, music that elevated me, the likely outcome of that is I'd be elevated. I'd be optimistic rather than feeling sad or <laughs> sad or rejected. Like choosing the songs you listen to daily as well. I don't listen to rap. Again, like I mentioned before, I don't listen to like drill music, like these kind of songs where it's not ideal. It's the input you choose. And having read the art of thinking fast and slow and talking about the priming effect, essentially the priming effect, where, for example, if I mentioned something about food or eating, and then if I gave you a sentence, not a sentence, a word, it said S O underscore P I, I, <laughs> with my editing skills maybe I'll add it if I mention about eating you're more likely to fill in that gap as soup H have I mentioned about bathrooms cleaning yourself or washing your hands you're more likely to say soap so with that concept in mind about priming I do not want to prime my brain for negative thoughts and emotions or negative concepts like particularly in these drill or rap music, they tend to focus on the wrong things. It's talking about sex, violence, greed, money, like all these things. I'd rather listen to music that doesn't focus on those negative sides of well, the human experience. I'd rather prime my brain by listening to music that's more upbeat and happy. Like, <laughs> for example, a lot of music that I listen to I go, I go through many phases, like, particularly like J-pop, Japanese pop. Again, some of those lyrics, they're very, <laughs> if you go into the lyrics, they're quite dark, but the music is quite uplifting. I probably have to change that. But saying that, it's <laughs> sort of like J-pop is like depressive lyrics, well, it's upbeat, happy, um, happy-go-lucky music. But I listen to particularly... I can, I can name the artists for you, like Boy Pablo, Vance Joy, um, George Ezra, um, The Last Dinosaurs, like, I'm particularly in like the indie rock sort of genre, so it's sort of everywhere, all over the place. It's because I don't like listening to the stuff that will make me think quite negatively, right? I'd rather listen to the stuff where it's like, what would you say? It's more like, again, uplifting. Because that's how it's going to prime my state of mind for the rest of the day. And to think it's not going to affect you, I think it's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> no offense. Because as humans, as 
brain, our problem solving machines is all constantly getting inputs, constantly getting inputs. And it will affect us subconsciously at a subconscious level. So to carefully choose the music that you listen to, carefully choose the media that you choose to consume, the books that you read, the posts that you consume, the creators, the followers, like all these inputs are a reflection of you. I'd argue they're not separate from you because there is a two degree influence and I want a better outcome. I want the odds to be in my favor. So music as an aspect of my life, I want it to be positive, not negative. And again, <laughs> particularly with my generation that probably go through the, what's it called? My villain arc. That, that, I know it's a random topic to talk about music, but sometimes <laughs> like Sigma music, like any of that kind of, how do you put it? Think of like Patrick Bateman, like they idolize that sort of figure. Whereas I try to get away from that, move away from that, rather focus on the positive, positivity because positivity drives positivity but negativity is quite hard to remove again like I think from a rule of the 48 laws of power I can't remember the law but something about getting away from people who are negative like pitfalls like don't surround yourself with negative people because they will bring you down and it's the same with music don't listen to negative music if you're really in in a really bad mood don't don't listen to really bad music like not bad music but music that will continue in that state of feeling down or feeling depressive or feeling angry or feeling moody like all these things listen to music that will uplift you so it's simple as that we are a product of our environment but also our conditioning so to put ourselves in the best light in our best favor it's better to listen to music, listen to inputs, consume inputs that will put us in a position where we will feel positive, where we will be elevated rather than the opposite. So it's sort of my tangent about choosing your music carefully. So best in the words of Luke Belmar. Again, I, I mentioned Luke Belmar a lot in my videos. I take a lot of inspiration. Don't listen to devilish music. Don't listen to worldly music. Don't listen to music that will stray you away from God like stray you away from heavenly things, all these things. Cause if they, if the music is encouraging you to <laughs> have casual sex, to take drugs, to commit violence, all these things, it's probably not the best music to listen to. Go listen to some like, go listen to some Joe Hisaishi. I, I recommend him. He's like one of the best Japanese composers, probably the best composers of the 21st century, particularly, or the 20th century, particularly with his compositions in Studio Ghibli. Okay, that's my recommendation, but choose your music carefully. Thank you for watching.